Happening now, the defense builds its case for schizophrenia in the Stanley Majors murder trial. Multiple psychiatrists took the stand, saying Majors is not guilty by reason of insanity. Two Works for You reporter Megan Allison is live at the courthouse with more on the defendant's mental history. Megan. Well, today we heard from the chair of psychiatry at OSU who reviewed police and medical reports, witness testimony and hours of time with majors to determine his mental state during the shooting of College Ibarra in August of 2016. The doctor said he only supports the defense in 40% of cases, but in this case he finds majors to have all the symptoms of schizophrenia. That includes hallucinations, delusions and disorganized speech and behavior. The psychiatrist also found the defendant abused alcohol and opioids and had other symptoms of various personalities personality disorders like narcissism. Because of this, he believes Majors did not understand what he was doing when shooting Jabara or the consequences of his actions. The doctor said he learned in interviews that Majors suffered from abuse, molestation and homelessness in childhood, which could have triggered mental illness. When speaking to Majors about the day of the shooting, he told the court the defendant was under the delusion the Jabara family was going to kill him because he's a homosexual. Now, during cross-examination, prosecutors brought up how the psychiatry report is largely based on Majors' personal testimony and the potential of him lying. The doctor said his report is made up of multiple components, but that anything is possible. And the defense is expected to rest tomorrow. Reporting live at the courthouse, Megan Allison, Two Works for You.